Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. May you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, April 28th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Inhale, let the waves gently rise. And exhale, let the waves fall. Inhale, the waves rise. And exhale, the waves fall. Take some calming ocean breaths in and out at your own pace. That was some useful information. Now let's learn something new with Word of the Day. Hey Randy, how are you going to prepare for the FSA? Oh me? Well I'm trying to find a serene place to relax. Oh, so you're looking for somewhere calm and peaceful? Yup, I'm going to try to my best to not stress. I guess I should try to find somewhere serene to study too. See you, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the Day. day. Finding a serene place to study sure sounds great. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Peyton. Sports fans, our boys baseball team played a game this past Wednesday. We won with an incredible score of 15-7. to The MVP of the game was Brandon, but a special shout-out to our rookies Nicholas Melchor, Isaiah Bazil, and Romeo Brown. Good win, guys. In other sports news, Nadia Kamenetsi is a Romanian retired gymnast and a five-time Olympic gold medalist whose name will always be tied to the word perfection. At 14, she achieved a score of 10 in her gymnastic bars exercise and then shockingly went on to do it again a whopping six more times. She famously said, I don't run away from challenges, I run towards them because the only way to escape fear is to overcome it and trample it beneath your feet. Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is amazing. It is vegetarian chili with beans, corn diced peaches, Fritos, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go back to fighting! Thank you, Sonia. Lunch sounds exquisite. Scholars, FSA testing is back at it again. On Monday, May 2nd, 7th to 8th grade have session 1 of their ELA FSA. Make sure to use your test-taking strategies. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, the FSA pep rally is today. It sure is worth the hype. Make sure you're there to get pumped up for the FSA. Today is the last day of the academic celebrations. It's the 6th to 8th graders' turn. Congrats to the scholars that have received this award. Now, let's see what the weather is going to look like today with Destiny. Thank you, Peyton. Good morning, Patriots. Today, I look forward to a nice and cool 76 degrees Fahrenheit with showering skies. Looks like it might rain for the rest of the weekend, so try and stay inside. In other weather news, South Korea is building a floating island. People being affected by rising sea levels are going to have to eventually move. But South Korea found an amazing solution, floating cities. Oceanix is an island in the works that will eventually be able to house 100,000 people. The goal is to ensure that people living by the water have a place to live, just as a precaution. What a clever solution to this problem. Now, let's go to David for today's birthdays. Thanks, Destiny. That was great. I can't wait to take part in a nice stroll at the park. Today's birthday boys and girls are Aston Jean Baptiste and Nicholas Brown. And for our weekend birthdays, Louis Maradosa, Tristan Francis, Zary Campbell, Zola Brown, Mia Bringers Palomino, Juliana Moyes, Harmony Clays, and Marley Aiken. 
Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, David. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Santori, Miss Shadid, Miss Only, Miss Mitchell, Miss Sheriff, Miss Stone, Miss June, and Miss Ian Denqua. You all have the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the hottest planet in the solar system? The correct answer is Venus. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. When Walt Disney was a child, which character did he play in his school function? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. The winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV Blog to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day and a fabulous weekend.